Jetia, this is Makola. Samenegonge Jetia, this is Makola. Samenegonge Yoli Satarik, you laugh and laugh. Samenegonge Jetia, this is Makola. Samenegonge New kind of cult where everything goes. A kind of cult where everything goes. Or the street meets the log in this funny cult. In Tivu Nimra. Meso mi nimra, wu nimra, meso mi nimra. You know the rules, but I know the exceptions. You know the exceptions, but I know the rules. KJT Amakola, we all learned the law. Take your seats, take your seats, take your seats. Punisher. Your Honor. How are we doing this morning? Your Honor, I guess we are good. Uh, all right. What would be our course of business? As usual, you know that my name is not an adjective of the Akan language. It is a noun of sanctimonious expression. No form of interpretation whatsoever shall be given to it. So finally, be you aware that I may not be the law, but the law speaks through me. And so you'll be very well advised how you provoke me to speak. Because it might change your life. Punisher, your Honor. let's hear our case for the day. Thank you, Your Honor. The plaintiff is suing the defendant for irresponsibility, negligence, psychological trauma, and victimization through a system. They aver their future has been badly jeopardized by the defendant as such uh, seeking judgment as well as any such relief the court may deem appropriate. This court is in session. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do I understand this to mean a student is suing the government, the education system of Ghana? <laughs> Your Honor, of course. I mean, this is what our legal system has come to. Really? Really, my Lord. Your Honor, the court is everybody fled. The court is there so that all the people who have something, their heart is not disagree, go to the court. Counsel, the court tell him. you honestly, honestly believe in all conscience, that you support this case and you have a case to win. Your Honor, that's how I've come. Very well. You're well within your rights. Shall we proceed? Your Honor, the Bible tell me something. The Bible say that fooling is prasta the heart of children. Jimmy <laughs> Batabofrakuma. <laughs> So, today, I bring your children. Right. Your Honor, now if Furin have not touched your heart, <laughs> why you have got to do something and the thing have come to responsible you, you say that somebody do something before what you go to do, you go to do. So, Counselor, if you know that it is a foolish case, <laughs> then why are you <laughs> exactly, Lord. Exactly, Lord. Same sentiment over here. We can just go. Counselor, Your Honor, you can make this the shortest session in history. Your Honor, if we have, that's why right now we have start. <laughs> that's why it's comedies. I'm telling you the comedies are uh, before. Oh, I have, have they erupted you into the, the syndrome of foolishness? No, 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 no. 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 I have to go past that time. You have grown past it. Yeah. So you are a big child. That's what the Bible says. Children. Are you a big child? No, big man. <laughs> you are a big man. Yeah. Big child. Ah. It's here, people don't respect me, but if I go to some place, they call me lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here they call you what? They call me. Indeed. <laughs> and this thing, uh, uh, that's a lawyer. What about that? 
Take a time, Paul. Then when they see me, they, they come to hold me up. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Objection, you know, a quick observation. I believe my learned colleague is a bit naked before your eyes because his flap is still open, you know. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor, Your Honor. Oh, your Honor, Counsel, I would truly want to hear an objection on this matter. Yes. Because the evidence lies very clearly before my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Your Honor, as I say objection, I say that. Uh, <laughs> It's not good. What this? It's not good. <laughs> That's why all the time I stand up, this woman is watching me somewhere. And it's that somewhere. Counsel, Your Honor, I put it to you that the officer of the court can see the pharmacist behind the counter. I have seen him. Hear him have talked. The pharmacist. Counsel. Ah! The court will give you permission to just turn around and. Secure the pharmacist. Sure. <laughs> Counsel, is the pharmacist secured? Your Honor. I think you are beginning to threaten the sure. guest of the court. As I turn to this woman, you have said, hey! Your Honor, my clients and my clients have gone to school. They have to go to this thing. SS. And they have come uh, to come to go to university. Even in the time they are in the SS, that time, this man is boarding, this man too is boarding. The time they come to university too, that time they are doing hot. They are sleeping this thing. University boarding. The owner, this man and this man have got some problem. They have got to do something and the school have cut him and cut this man too. So, all oh, this man and this man are screwers. They are doing on school. <laughs> so, they are sitting down to think about the thing. Uh, then, you know, if you have watched some Nigeria film, some man here is sitting down to think about something and then some black guy, he have this thing, go to home. He come to stand here. There's some hard guy to come to stand here. Then this black guy tell you, go and kill him. And this white guy tell you, no. This is said that don't do that, okay? <laughs> that time is hot. Satan and Peter. And J. Peter, who are come to stand here. Your Honor, this guy, this guy, and J. Peter. Is there is no such angel, Peter. Counsel, I believe now all the engine in the world, you know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Counsel, that is a very legitimate point. Yeah. Your objection is overruled. <laughs> How many engines do you know? Hmm. Gabriel, Michael, and the rest. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he knows not what he speaks of. Hmm. Okay. Proceed. 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 Yo, man. So, that's my ass. And the Peter time, he said that, hey, this is Peter to fall down and let Satan stand there. So, Satan is laughing at Peter. Satan tell him, go to court. Go and tell the court what has happened, and the court will help you. That's why they have come. They have come because this man, this man, when they are in the university, they do something fresh. And the school to say that, we have. Take you to go home. But this man say, that time they're in SS, the time the SS people gave them this thing. Wulu. Wulu this thing. They tip him blue like this. But as he come to the university, they have opened the next thing for him. So all the time, anything he want to do, he can do. Anywhere he want to go, he can go. So that's why they are going to do something bad. So if the school have prepared him well, like if he have come to the university, then that time he know common sense. But as the school have not prepared him, that's what's happened to him. So this man, this man have come. They have heard that new judge have come. They say, so if the old man have do something bad, 
and God have turned him to go and blame somebody else. Hmm. Then let him come and tell the new one. Maybe God touched his heart to save me. So what I want to know is, what did they tell you to convince you to bring them here for this place? Ah, Your Honor, pretty this thing, but today now I don't have anything to do. <laughs> so <laughs> if, I, if I don't come. I'm going to sit up and some woman be a pregnant to come and worry me that. Come and visit me, come and visit me. So I don't want to go. That's why I've come here. So you have come here to uh, while away your, your yeah. spare time. Very good. And shut up myself. A at my expense. Yeah. At my expense. Very good. At my expense. Very good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Invested quality time and resources to get here. Shall we indulge and proceed with the procedures? Yes, my lord, and so I will engage. My lord, for purposes of court records, let me restate my name that I am lawyer Cornelius Adia Pena, also a chairman, the finest of the state attorney department. Standing here alone, without words. My lord, you have rightly said. From the very onset, that this is a, a frivolous suit. This is a case not worth wasting your head or your time or your sleep over. But because we have accepted to defend the voiceless, we have accepted to stand in the stead of the Republic anywhere, we have to show up and do our jobs diligently. And so I am here to represent the Republic of Ghana. You know what? First of all, let me say whatever they speak to is baseless. We love to say in the secondary schools there were airtight rules and in the tertiary institutions there is freedom and so it means people will misbehave. It's, it's, it's dumb, if I may say. It's, it's, it's unfounded, it's baseless, it's useless, it's, it's rubbish, if I may use this word in your court, my lord. But a lawyer like lawyer in Tikatichi Bombay, Isaiah, in his own words, has listened to the devil or the Satan who told these delinquents to come to court and he has followed them. Making us know the kind of person he is, one who listens to Satan directly. How? Oh, just me, oh, now. Nah. Yeah, look at my naked and come to insult me to talk to you. <laughs> you know, and how, how, how is this related to listening to Satan and coming to court to waste our time? Counsel. Oh, no. At this very moment, I see myself like inside a Nigerian movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is happening there? I feel, <laughs> I feel the Satan on my right. And I feel the angel on my left. Ah. And I'm just about to push the angel on my left away. Hey. But if you allow me to listen to what the devil on my right is saying, you better be sit down. I'm sit down. And my Lord, so that is to say it is baseless to say that because the system is tighter there. It forces you to go away. Very well, very well, counsel. Let's not belabor the point. Uh, you, my Lord. I suppose by your statement that you have no witnesses against in this matter. Because you are just an observer, right? Yes. Ah. You call witnesses, but you have no questions for them. I have no questions. <laughs> but you stated earlier that you are just here to observe and that you will call them and allow co counsel, uh, opposing counsel, to just ask questions. Let me to answer. If you only this man as a, what am I doing? You are this man So you do have questions to ask? Ah, plenty. How many witnesses do you have on this matter? Your Honor, I have blamed this, uh, some guy who have gone to prison, uh, some Gabby. Oh, how, so many, how many witnesses? Two. Two witnesses? Yeah. Do they include your clients themselves? Then let me choose one and choose one. So two witnesses? Yeah. Call your first witness. Okay. You and you, who want to talk first? 
You want to talk? Then go and talk. <laughs> you have plow. He said that. Like he's going to talk sense. Pride. 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 Proceed. Ah! So, Chris, tell your honor your name. Your honor, my name is Samomafo. Samomafo? The school have. How old is he? How old is he? Your honor, I'm 23 years old. Your honor, I'm 23. 23 years old? Yeah. Do you consider yourself a child? No, your honor. Yeah. No, 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 Beyond childhood, eh? Yeah. Oh, well. then that's why they have to take this thing. Son me. <laughs> to cut. Counsel, you have any questions for him? Yeah. Please proceed. Please, tell your honor what to do that at school suck you. Your honor, mm -hmm. I used to be a very good student in the SHS. I graduated with a very good grade. I selected my very good course, which is computer science, and I was admitted to the Jake Institute of Technology. In my first and second semester, I realized that um, the exams didn't go well for me, and just as I expected from my very background from the SHS. So since I was a computer science student, I took it upon myself to go behind the school system to change some, some of my marks online. And uh, I was caught, and that led to where I am now. So, you are there, you go to write some exams that you are fake. But you use your, your destiny, your common sense, to pass, to go to internet talk. To go and change your next thing, your glade, to the offers. True. Ah. <laughs> so when the, the, the people catch you, how they do? They say that, oh, you, you this guy, you have do something very, 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 very common sense. Because you're, you're, if you don't have sense, how are you able to go to pass internet up to go to change your next thing? The people happy or they don't happy? The school. They were not happy. So what they do to you? Your Honor, I was jailed for three years. They take you to go to court or they go to put you for the prison? We went to court. And the court tell you that go to jail? Yes, Your Honor. Ah. So the time you finish your jail, you are sitting there, you say that, oh, for the court, even the court don't have sense. Why oh, the court tell me to go to jail? So let me come to tell some your honor who have more destiny to oh, talk about that. <laughs> Counsel, are you done with your witness? Ah, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> your honor, last destiny. Last one. As I said, I see what I write. So, tell me. Your Honor. Proceed. If I fall down, price this thing. So, tell me. Um, this one that you say your the access you go to something happen and they say and you are blank the this thing. You are if you watch your mind. How the SS tell you to go to do that? Your SS headmaster call you that, go and change your destiny, or the university headmaster call you that, go and change your, your grade? Your Honor, we, we know that in the SHS, we are allowed to study very small books for a period of two and a half years. But in, in the tertiary system, we are made to study big, big books for a period of about three months and in the first semester and about four months in the second semester, which wasn't enough for me. And uh, I'm blaming the Ministry of Education because. Huh. Your Honor, please take your time. <laughs> take your time now. If you take your heart to follow what he's talking about, <laughs> you are going to get heart attack. You talk, you talk, talk, okay, talk more. So you 
have been there, they didn't say because what, what have I done? Because proper trans transition from the senior high school to the tertiary education wasn't made clear to me. So when I went to the tertiary, um, tertiary school, um, I wasn't given the necessary introduction, the necessary education to be able to acquaint myself with whatever happens over there. Oh, okay. And so that's why you got to do that thing you do. Combining stress. Please, tell me. Tell me the big book that you say you, you, you learn. How, what have the size become? Tell me the size. <laughs> okay, for each course. You tell me, show me. Show me the size like this. Okay, a course is like this. This is a big book. No, one course. One so course, big book. Six. So six is like this. Yeah. Your Honor, when you go to Ghana School of the Law, Let's just say one course. That one, one subject. The book is like this. The media, I've got to life music. Objection, Milord. Milord. I do realize there might be no need for me to have been in court today because everything is virtually going in my favor. Well, I think today is a uh, humor relief for all of us. Yeah, today. It's it 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 going well for all of us. Why does my take on the music? Me. Lord, when I don't have to work like this for a victory, it's sad. It upsets you. I have to work for it. Mm. Anyway, let me still go. Now you bless her. Kazo, would you like to demonstrate to him how strong your press up levels are? I think that if you want somebody to do the thing very well, we all know the virtual man. <laughs> How you met him? He plays a part to met him, so let him show. Me there, what virtual have I met him? Manager. Your Honor. Would you consider his statement an insult to your good self? Or Very you? Much an insult to your Honor. It is an insult to your good self? Yes, sir. And uh, what would you advise that the court instructs him on your behalf? Your Honor, as you instructed earlier on, he should do the press up, sir. Very well noted. Counsel, as unconventional as this may sound, I take my officers very, very seriously. And for you to, without provocation, cast insinuations on my good punisher here, I think you will be very well advised to demonstrate just three strokes of press ups. Oh, you are. So that counsel <laughs> may take inspiration from that. Your Honor, before I do that, I want to apologize to punisher. I don't know that. I'd like to instruct him while he's doing it. Very well, very well, very well. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Counsel, shall you proceed before the bench? Your Honor, I can tell you, I'm going to apologize today. Uh, you will apologize after. Okay. After. So proceed. Punisher. Your Honor. The, the floor is yours. Before you start to do any physical exercise, lawyer in Tikkatache Bombay, you need to be hard headed. You get what I mean? Go down and give me how many push-ups? At your discretion. Oh, give me five. Lawyer. Go down. Spread up. Spread your legs. Come up. No. Close them. Counsel. Come up a bit. Bring your bring your butt up. Stretching your arm. Now go down with your chest. And come up slowly. Slowly. Come on! Slowly! Go down again. Come on! Slowly, come on! Two! to deliver apology to Patricia. I think I'm, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <sighs> Patricia, 
I accept the court's apology on behalf of counsel. I do, Your Honor. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Honor. Counsel. Yeah. I think we all accepted that today is humor relief yes. for all of us. It would have been a sad day to miss today's court. Now, ah. I regret all feelings of anger earlier. Ah. Mm. You know, I would like to proceed with my cross-examination. Yeah. Please, please, please do. Samamafu, how old did you say you are? You are now 23 years old. 23 years old? How long did you say you stayed in prison for? You are now three years. Which prison? <sighs> Santasi prison. In your opinion, did the school system or your lecturers or your dean or any of your classmates hold your hand behind the laptop or the desktop as you were busy hacking the system? No, Your Honor. Did anybody whisper into your ears, anybody in the form of a lecturer, a TA, uh, anybody in the school system? your former tutors, your former classmates, did any such person whisper in your ears to hack your university? Yes, in a way. Which way? Your Honor, we were told by our lecturers that we should be able to apply what you learn in class. Ah, how? <laughs> your Honor, as I mentioned earlier, I studied computer science in a university. My lord, and so people who studied biochemistry, medicine, they know the right combination of drugs to kill any human being under this planet. Mm -hmm. But my lord, do they? Then you could as well turn into a terrorist and blame the school system. How many of your mates are still in school as we speak? Your Honor, 100 of them. They are still in their, they are in their final year now? Yes, Your Honor. And I'm sure you have heard some of them. Even as they are in school now, have received job offers? Yes, Your Honor. Um, they didn't also go to secondary school? Mm. Your Honor, they did. No further questions, my lord. Counsel. My lord. Who exactly does your client represent? Oh, my lord. My client here is the PRO from the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Abua Kathleen. Mm. Do you have any intentions of calling her or any other persons as witnesses in this matter? Yeah, my lord, I do, but my lord, we're just having fun. He has more witnesses. Let's finish. I have uh, a number of hours. Very well. Young man, <clears throat> <sighs> you repulse me on many levels, <laughs> but we shall defer that till later. Please take your seat. Counsel, do you have any other witnesses to call? You're not going to call. Gatulud, Gatulud Wama. So, Gatulud. Yes, please. Tell your honor your name. I am Gertrude Buama. Ah. How old is, are you? I'm 24 years old. 24 years. You two, some school has sack you? No, please. Oh. So. My client tell me that you are so something has happened to you. So you are going to tell the court something to support her what they have done. So I think we get, we get the import of it. Carry on. So, please, tell the court. Thanks one, once again, Your Honor. Ah, who you are? I am Gertrude Boama. I repeat my name. Talk to the next thing. A university graduate and an ex-drug addict. Your Honor, he said that it's an ex-drug addict. It means that What does it mean? <laughs> she used to do drugs. To say or hurt? No, please. How many have you? Huh? Now, you do them for who? 
I take them myself. You are do that you take. Hey! Then your business has collapsed. <laughs> do you have any more questions for her? Yeah. Go ahead. What sickness have you take the the, the thing to take? These are not drugs for sickness. They are hot. I take them to gain pleasure, be happy, and just find comfort in myself. Oh, so you drink the drug to get free in bam. <laughs> oh. Even what I'm talking is cause a party. <laughs> Have you taken some drug today? No, please. As I said, an ex drug addict. So you have stopped to take? Yes, please. That's a while. Resemble you. Hmm. Milord, if I may, I do have a few questions for the witness on the stand. All right. Miss Buama. Yes, please. You are 20 what? 24 years. 24 years. At what age did you start doing drugs? I started at my final level of the university. That's 21. 21. How did you get introduced to these drugs? This was because I wanted to fit into a group of friends. And I would say this is the, the educational system allowed this in the sense that we had time, enough time to go out to parties at night, without any restrictions. Huh. <laughs> Milord, this one, not e you won't even be the one to say it. Hey. Your Honor, <laughs> objection. Ah. Why are you here, my friend? <laughs> Counsel, Your Honor. you'll be very well advised to return to your seats. <laughs> the university or the Ministry of Education allowed you to fall into the company of friends. Who pushed you to smoke? No, please. Who pushed you to smoke? If the university had rules preventing us from going out uh, for parties. Uh, sorry, sorry, Lord. The university should have rules to prevent you from going to parties. Sure. At what age did you get into the university? Our sister. You know she's still on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no further questions, please. No further questions. Young lady, I don't know if you understand the seriousness of what has brought you here and the premises on which you stand. But for an educated person like you to arrive to such conclusions on such a serious matter and find it laughable is indeed very, very preposterous to me. Well, please, you may vacate. Thank you. Counsel, Your Honor. I take it this charade of yours is over. Oh, let us try to tell oh, you. Oh, God. Counsel, <laughs> I have exhausted my limits for such. Oh, that's right. You give me this one two minutes back. Then hear him. Maybe he too. He has do something. Young man, do you think we should allow you to speak? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey. Uh, <laughs> please. This one, hey. Are you a man or you a woman? I'm a man. You are hot? I'm a man. Talk loud for the listening. I'm a man. Ah. Yes. So, why am I? Your motors is being like this. <laughs> Counsel, you will desist from such such questions on my on my, on my court. Nah, you're not, you're Counsel. See, if it's go, you see something. Counsel. <laughs> okay, man. Please, tell your honor your name. Press. Your how would press what you are doing. Your honor, my name is Hanson Abuaji. I am 22 years old. Um, your honor, I, I am an alcohol, ex-alcohol. I used to take in alcohol. Yeah. Uh, ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this one is S drug. This one is S alcohol. <laughs> Counsel. I'm sorry, bro. He said he's an ex alcohol. You know? I think he still is an alcohol. You know? What the case? Huh. 
Also, yeah, man. <laughs> you have made me very sad today. Yeah. You are Oh, you are even sadder than I am. A bomb pusa. No. Say, you have. When you, when you ask him, am I allowed to talk? This man say, yes. Come and talk, and you say, yeah, I'll talk. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> Council, yeah. I believe that any further adjudication of this matter will just um, really be inconsequential to the facts of the case. Yes. Because I believe that my opinions on this case are very clearly formed already. Great. However, if you would indulge me, I would just want to have a free-flowing conversation with your officer from the Education Ministry. Of course, If you would be so glad as to offer that. Most definitely, you know. Madam, would you please introduce yourself to the court? I am Mrs. Catherine Abua. Mrs. Abua. What exactly is your position at the ministry? Um, I stand as a public relations officer on Ministry of Education. Um, I I'm very sorry that you had to be dragged off your very serious and widely impacting duties to come to answer to such frivolities. Uh, however, I would want to give you the opportunity especially being the PRO of the ministry, to, to express your comments and sentiments about all of this. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I believe, as you've rightly said, this has been a huge waste of time, in my opinion, because, you know, the ministry deals with different agencies, the basic education, secondary, and tertiary. And per our constitution, Ghana, a person at the age of 18 years is an adult. And for that matter, the person is not restricted at home. I believe that uh, we all know, but per our normal Ghanaian education curriculum, by 18 years, the person is likely to be in a university, except under very special circumstances, where the person goes ahead of his or her time. For that matter, when the person is 18 years, I don't believe it's within our power to control their time, uh, where they sleep, where they go, and now you know that in the university, we have 18 to even 60 years. So in the university, mm. getting education for themselves. So I believe that, yes, we do have strict policies within the secondary cycle level because they are not adults. For that matter, the constitution gives us that right and that mandate to put them in that position. However, at the tertiary level, we do not have the constitutional right to restrict them. And you know, when the Bible said in Proverbs 22, verse 6, that train up a child the way he or she should go. Mm. When he is old, he will need to depart from it. The Bible was not referring to the education ministry. It was referring to their parents. Because there are lots of parents in there who have kids who have come out successfully because they were trained in a way that they are not influenced by peer pressure, they are not, they are not being lazy, they don't take free time to use it in bad means. For that matter, I believe that if their parents have trained them the way they should go, genius will not be here today. Very well, very well. And so it would be your position that the responsibility rests on the student, especially having graduated to the tertiary level. Yes, please, yeah. To be able to hold themselves in check. Definitely. So, madam, let me ask you, if by the unfortunate coincidence of nature, these children happen to be your children, who have dragged us to this point, what exactly would you say to them? Your Honor, my children will be dead before they even come here, even in that situation. I wouldn't put my children through a train that would bring them here. And as I still stand by it, that the upbringing of a child from the onset will determine how he or she behaves when it gets adulthood. You know, my children, excuse me to say, wouldn't be ex alcohol addicts, as he said. <laughs> Neither would they be ex um, convicts, ex drug addicts. Oh, no. Let's put my children aside, if you wouldn't mind. Well, Mrs. Abua. One more time, please accept the apologies of the court in this endeavor. And uh, I'd like to take the opportunity 
to applaud you and all other civil servants working at the different levels of the educational system, doing their very best under very difficult circumstances to give our children a bright future. I pray and hope that our children will learn examples from the likes of you and not for the unfortunate likes of these who have dragged us here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very Please. much. You may return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, Council and your witnesses, <laughs> shall you please rise to your feet? Right, my Lord. To say that I am disappointed is an understatement. To say that I am angered, particularly at you, Council Inti, for a man of great experience and caliber in the law profession, I expect so much more from you than to allow these little ones to drag you into a defense of a case that obviously you don't even believe in. So is that supposed to be a mockery of the court? Is that supposed to be a waste of my time? And of all the good meaning Ghanaians who are here, not less to talk about the very distinguished officers of the Ministry of Education. Counsel, I am your so Honor. disappointed. Your Honor. You will be very well advised to keep your mouth mute at this point. Because my anger cannot be abated in this regard. To these two young men, first of all, I don't even know how you are going to settle your own legal fees on this matter. Much less to talk about costs that I'm going to reward, uh, uh, award to you uh, 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 in favor of, of the ministry. I hear by state that you will sign a bond of good behavior for the next 15 years of your life to commit to the country, to the citizens, to your parents, and to the ministry, that you will not allow yourself to be such an a shameful example to the younger generations. For a 20, a 20 you know, a year old, I expect much more maturity from you than this. Loyalty, Your Honor. For wasting the court's time, for abusing the privileges of the judicial system, I award a cost of 10,000 Ghana cities against you. Your Honor. To this court. Your Honor, please. Are you saying that Punisher. people don't have to come to court? Your Honor. Other people have right to court. Punisher. Your Honor. For any more word that counsel in T. Otis in this chamber, you may grant him an R behind bars in return, in, 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 on remand. Thank you, Your Honor. And so it is the judgment of this court that the cost of 10,000 Ghana cities be awarded against the person of lawyer Inti for grossly disrespecting this court. And for these young men, you will be responsible for the costs of the ministry in respect of their legal fees on this matter. You will sign a bond of good behavior for the next 15 years of your life. And you will make a commitment to society that such disrespect such abuse, such negligence of individual responsibility will never be witness of you anymore. You are a shame to us. And we pray that our children out there will not follow you as good enough. This court <coughs> is adjourned. All right. His Lordship. Your Honor. Judge Obumpa. Uh-huh. No. Not <laughs> Let us all unite and celebrate together The victory is won for our liberation Let us dedicate ourselves to rise together To defend our liberty and unity Let us make 
Africa, that tree of life.